Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my presentation here today looks at the emerging opportunity for the renewable heat sector and some of the challenges we currently face. I know they've been, they've been well spoken about this morning, but I might, they may pop up again. Um, so who are Quilche? Just one slide about ourselves, just to introduce us. We manage 445,000 hectares of commercial forestry in the Republic of Ireland, and we supply about 2.5 million cubic metres of timber annually into the market. That material underpins the sawmill sector, the board mill sector that produce wood panel products, and obviously the emerging bioenergy sector. Our fibre material is FSC certified and with full chain of custody. Before I proceed, I'd just like to show you a video. It's only three minutes, um, and I think it's, it, it shows the untapped potential of the bioenergy sector that we're talking about here today. That video, I think, shows and supports jobs and the infrastructure required to produce the biomass. It supports an entire haulage infrastructure around it. It supports engineering firms involved in the design, installation, operation and maintenance of the boilers themselves. The video said it reduces energy costs Wood chip is 50% cheaper typically than fossil fuel that it's displacing. However, it's a sector that is completely lacking in any support in the Republic of Ireland, I should say. Um, this is a biomass boiler being delivered at one of our client's sites. We know that this boiler is 50% cheaper to operate than the equivalent oil that it's displacing. But as mentioned in one of the presentations earlier, there's a significant capital cost associated with these boilers that can lead to a longer than acceptable payback. We believe the introduction of a renewable heat incentive in the Republic of Ireland, similar to what's in the North, would offset the initial capital investment, thereby increasing the economic viability of the project. A renewable heat incentive would then direct the optimum use of our indigenous biomass resource to large-scale, highly efficient, industrial-scale biomass boilers. We know the incentive was, was introduced in the UK in December 11, and that's a little over two years ago, and in that space of time, there's been an excess of 531 megawatts of installed capacity um, spread over approximately 2,000 biomass installations. Renewable heat, as mentioned in so many of the presentations earlier, is a key pillar of our Res H target under NREAP. Our target is 12%. Ireland is currently at 5.2%. And based on our current trajectory, we're not going to make our targets. I mean, I think, I think that's quite obvious. Um, at this stage, we remain exposed to the possibility of fiscal penalties as a result of not achieving our targets and we need to do something to address the shortfall. We've done some analysis supported by a number of uh, leading engineering firms in Dublin. Based on our analysis we believe that between 120 and 160 megawatts of installed thermal capacity is still possible between now and 2020 but if and only if supports were, were introduced. That's still going to leave us well short of our target of 12%, but would certainly have a number of ancillary benefits, such as jobs, etc. Our analysis shows that if between 120 and 160 megawatts of installed capacity was installed and subsidised with a renewable heat incentive of 1.5 cent per kilowatt hour, it would result in a cost of the exchequer of between 13.5 and 18 million euros it would progress Ireland approximately 0.55 to 0.75 towards our 6% overall energy target. It would create somewhere between 102 and 135 direct jobs, design, installation, maintenance of the boilers, but also many, many more in all of the, the infrastructure, the processing, and delivery of wood chip, etc. And it would provide a market for between 255 and 340,000 tonnes of biomass. It would also provide a net benefit to the Exchequer of between 9.5 and 217 million 
euros, assuming EU statistical transfers, these penalties I spoke about earlier, in the range 30 to 200 euros per megawatt hour were, were implemented. The level of these transfers is yet to be determined, but we're not going to avoid the fines, so there's a net positive contribution irrespective. I suppose the video said it all, the benefits are clear. Forestry contributes towards reducing Ireland's reliance on imported fossil fuel, reducing our greenhouse gas emissions and improving our domestic fuel security. The bioenergy sector stimulates rural development, local job creation, and provides a market for our indigenous forestry resource and energy crops. A modest but focused renewable heat incentive in the Republic would stimulate significant levels of inward investment in the renewable heat, allowing industry to maintain competitiveness. It's clear we will not meet our real stage target. At this stage, it's just about minimizing the impact of the fines. On my final slide, I'd like to invite you all here in the audience to participate in an information and demonstration day that we're running ourselves on the 8th of May in Letterkenny. Um, there's an information leaflet in your pack there today, so if there's further details in there. Um, the event will show you firsthand how we process wood chip and some of the, the stuff that was filmed on the video there will be available to see and you can talk to the experts in the room in terms of uh, processing, drying, storage of wood chip, haulage of logs, etc. We'd be delight delighted for you to attend. Thank you.